In this section, I will be discussing the tools that can help us in deciding better investment options. It means that the ways, there are ways through which we can overcome the problem of adverse selection, which means that we can, we can help ourselves not to buy lemons. So as I mentioned earlier, a lemon is, is, you, is being in the, in the securities market, we are using the concept of lemons, which is borrowed from uh, George Akerlof, who used this particular concept to explain the used car market. Um, so a lemon is a, a is a security or a financial instrument which you think is going to be profitable for you but in fact it is not so again if we are investing in the market uh, outrightly we are unable to decide whether this particular financial asset is going to help us in gaining more returns or a higher profit rate so in that case, there are several, because the level of information that is available with me and the level of information that is available with the firm owners or the managers of the firms are not the same. Hence, we are subject to information asymmetry. So there are several ways that can help us or help an investor in order to come up with better solutions or better decision making. So one ma major thing is that if we get more information, if the investor gets more informed about that particular investment opportunity or that stock, he will be able to make better decisions. So as a result, if I know more about the good companies or a good firms or the good financial instruments, then I will be able to invest more money in those good securities or the securities that are being issued by good firms. What I mean by good firm is the firm that is expected to yield more profit. So eventually by the end of the day, if I, if I'm more informed about the overall working of a firm, I will be able to make better decisions. So this is one way through which I can avoid adverse selection or I can avoid ending up investing in a lemon. So basically there are several institutions, several organizations who are there to provide information and they, they produce private information and then they sell that information. So they, they keep an eye on the overall financial indicators that explain how the firms are behaving in a certain way and how they will be performing in future. So that helps in reducing asymmetries from the market among the among all the investors and it increases the level of information among the investors and basically the, the, these companies uh, collect the data and information about different types of uh, firms and then they make it available to the subscribers uh, who subscribe to this information and for example there are several companies who spend a lot of money and they generate this data, they collect this information and do, that information is then shared with the information buyers. So among the, the famous companies whose job is to collect information about the firms and then they, that information is utilized by the investors or by the financial analysts to assess how different businesses or different firms are performing in future or how they are going to how they are expected to perform in, in, the, in the future. So among these companies are the Standard & Poor's, then we've got the Moody's and the Value Line. These are the, the three major firms whose job is to collect information and then they maintain this information. And this information is basically utilized by the individuals, libraries and the financial intermediaries who help or guide or help in analyzing the overall financial performance of different businesses and this information is also utilized to make better decisions when it comes to buying securities or making investment decisions.